All right, guys, we're back. Hey, everybody, Merry Christmas. Clockworks here, driving. We're on uh, World of Tanks tonight because uh, we were. I was just given this little guy for free. Yeah. So we're going to take him out and test him. Uh, unlike, say, some of my more favorite tanks. With the nice that, little Spetsnaz symbol yeah. behind it. You can uh, have upgrades too. <laughs> this one is known as a premium tank and doesn't have any upgrades. Yes. <laughs> it, it's just, it's just is what it is. So. All right. Cool. We're, we're going to take it into battle and see how it does. And um, what, what, what have you been doing, Moon Monk? I, I read anything good? Have you heard anything good on like or seen anything good on Tumblr? Any, I, I got no topics today to talk about. Honestly, I got nothing. I got a new mic. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Apparently, Panzer 2Ds. Wow. Are, are very are, famous today. <laughs> yeah, they're very popular. Um, there was something I wanted to talk about that I saw, and I completely forgot about it because I was talking to mom about it earlier. Well, where did you see it? Tumblr. <laughs> well, I would. I would, well, see, I was hoping to like get get you to retrace the steps, but uh, you know, see if you can't figure out what it was. But that obviously isn't going to work with what we're doing. Yeah, I mean. What, what, were we, what were we talking about earlier? And one of my if you pieces remember. Go off. Yes. Aiden got a new helicopter today. That was his Christmas Eve gift that he got to open. Oh, hey, this one's got a uh, magazine. Um, apparently, uh, <laughs> Tumblr yesterday... Uh, they they changed it so that every time you scroll down on the actual site, mm -hmm. it played the Seinfeld like baseline theme. Oh God, that would be annoying. Yeah, and they even changed the font of the uh, the the logo to be the Seinfeld font. And it, it was funny because everyone was complaining about it. And someone came up that's with... That's because Seinfeld wasn't actually a good show. I've... But there was nothing else on, so that's why it was so popular. I've never seen a single episode. That's a spitfire. Um, I, uh... But someone came back with, You guys realize that by complaining about this as much as you are, you're actually celebrating the holiday that Seinfeld made where all they were doing was... I guess the holiday was that they were complaining about Christmas or something like that. So by complaining about the fact that Tumblr was celebrating, you know, the Seinfeld Christmas or holiday or whatever it was, they were actually engaging in the holiday. God, you got gangbanged. Yeah, that happens a lot. I, I, I don't actually put a whole lot of strategy. I mean, when I, when I was... <laughs> When I was with a uh, when I was with a clan, I was I, I would do strategy. I was I was a member of Iron Wolves, who were the first ones to go to were the first uh, clan to go to Russia. Oh right. For the World Nationals or for the for the World uh, Championship for the World Nationals. That didn't oh. even make sense. What the hell? Who wrote this? You know? uh, In Soviet Russia, <laughs> World of Tanks plays you. <laughs> exactly. They they went there and I mean they got stopped. But I mean the the cool thing was they they got a full on trip to Moscow. Right. And, and I mean, <laughs> at least it wasn't Sochi. They, yeah. They, they, <laughs> wow. <laughs> nice Olympic humor. Yeah. Uh, I remember something I wanted to ask you about. Your opinion? Yes. Good night, son. <laughs> Say goodnight to the viewers, Zayden. Good night, everybody. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Merry Mar Christmas. Merry Christmas. So well, by the time I upload this, it'll be Christmas. All yeah. And all right. So so anyway, what were you, what were you gonna? Well, I was curious about your opinion on something because okay. I I know that. Granted, you're not as. 
adamant about it as I am. Right. But, I mean, I've seen you get all squee over certain movies. Okay. Now, just... Uh, no, it's okay, buddy. <laughs> Come on through. Excuse me! <laughs> Gotta go to the groceries. <laughs> Forgot the milk. Knock, knock. Who's there? Interrupting cow. Interrupting, Interrupting cow. Oh, <laughs> ice cream melts, people. Ice cream does melt. Especially in a tank. That <laughs> should be hot. But, um... I don't even know what battle... What time... Out. Battle this is. <laughs> um, in movies, okay. Just and we're just talking like in in general movies. Yeah, I mean any genre you want. Um, ex- although it won't work on horror, right? Because horror actually has it as a rule. But sex scenes in movies. Mm. I okay. You said your opinion on this multiple times, and I have to agree with you. Uh, waste of film. Actually, has a better terminology for it. What? I borrow from uh, Yahtzee, actually. Uh, zero punctuation. A sex scene in a in your average movie is like throwing a menstruating woman off a off a forty story building. It breaks flow. <laughs> I mean, it- there's been there's been so many movies where it was going along good. Had good pacing, had had good plot, and I just had to turn the movie off because of a love scene. And it's like, ah. Shoot 'em up was kind of like that for me, but then again, they also added in shooting and killing to the sex scene, so I was very conflicted. My biggest problem, or one of my biggest problems, is when I was younger, we would be watching movies with the family back. You know, when my dad and I still watch movies together, mm-hmm. and a sex scene would come in, and for when when you're like in high school or even in like late middle school, and a sex scene comes on and you're watching it with your parents, it is one of the most awkward moments that you could Maybe ever it's just have. Just as awkward for your parents. Yeah, because yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh, um, I mean, well, we all yeah. know that it's a thing that happens, but. It's yeah, really... There are some movies they handle it well. Like they'll they'll show the beginning of it and then they just bypass to the end. Yeah. They cut out the whole. But world. for me, sex and cinema is like plot and porn. It's completely useless. <laughs> I don't know the one in Hot Shots. It's really fun. It's kind of a filler though. Yeah, but well, no. See, the one in Hot Shots. Uh, the one in Hot Shots. It was a comedy routine. It was that the girl was getting so hot that he could he could cook on her stomach. <laughs> and then he did the backflip off the headboard. Yeah, and then the backflip off the headboard. I, I, I do like when movies sort of kind of lean up to it, uh, but then they don't actually do it. Um, Bruce Almighty was one of the funniest lead-up moments to a sex scene yes. that I could have ever asked for, just because, I mean... If you guys don't know, uh, in Bruce Almighty, you know, Bruce becomes... Almighty. Almighty, yeah. He becomes the Alpha and the Omega. Hence the title. Yeah. And, uh, you know, he... God, this thing takes over every reload. Second best sex scene, Clicked. Clicked? Yes! Clicked Click has, has, has a great sex scene because he, he fast forward... He ends up fast forwarding through it once and the remote remembered it. Oh, right. I remember that. And so anytime he was aroused... He, it would fast forward. Yeah. That's that's a situation where you don't want to take that gift. Yeah. Um, <sighs> Dang it. But, Relocating. Oh, hey. We're but, talking about uh, this guy. So Bruce becomes, you know, God. And uh, he comes home after his marriage has been sort of kind of... Not failing, but it's been on the rocks... And, you know, he kicks off his shoes, pulls the moon closer, causes tidal waves in, you know, Japan. And, you know, he basically gives his uh, co-partner... Wasn't it Jennifer Aniston? Jennifer Aniston. Yeah. Love Jennifer Aniston, by the way. Yes. In everything she's in. Would love to meet her someday, just to say hi. Um, but, I don't know. I think it'd be cool to hang out with her. She, I, th- I think it would be too. She, 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 she definitely strikes me as a girl that that'll hang with the guys. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'll show you that movie where she was a stripper pretending to be a mom. I uh, haven't seen it yet. We are the Millers. Yeah, we will have to run that up for you. I, I hear it's really great, 
and Ashley reference. Well, the handling on this thing, it's like it's on rails. <laughs> right into the freaking building. You, you couldn't hit the side of a barn if you were standing right in front of it. It must be a stormtrooper. Yeah. It must be a storm. Yeah. Um, Fortunately, we're a bunch. Of, we appear to be a bunch, against a bunch of red shirts. Yeah. <laughs> Great, but by the way. Um, but uh, he basically gives her an orgasm in the bathroom, and and By when I word. yeah, and uh, pleasurable. I, when I was and younger, boobs. yeah, and bigger boobs. Do my boobs look better? No, not at all. Um, but when I was younger, obviously, I I didn't fully get that part. Mm -hmm. But it, it was most definitely one of the, my favorite lead ups to. A sex scene in a movie, and I'm sorry, I'm a Jim Carrey fanboy. I I, I love a lot of his movies, and, and I know that some people will disagree with me. <laughs> um, but frankly, I don't give a damn. Uh, but yeah, great movie if you guys haven't seen it. And if you haven't seen it, what rock have you been living under for the past twenty to thirty years? Didn't like the sequel though. I thought it was uh, alright. Uh, Evan Almighty? Evan Almighty. I... Yeah, it's moments. I'm not as big of a fan of... Stephen Carroll. That's his name, right? That's how much of a... Hold not as me. big of a fan of him as I, I am. the biggest difference between the first and the second is they altered his appearance. Yeah. Whereas in the first one, they didn't do that. Right. I mean, Steve Carell, not God. Yeah, because, well, God is Morgan Freeman. Yeah, apparently. Morgan Freeman, Morgan Freeman. Morgan Freeman, Morgan Freeman, Morgan Freeman. That's pretty much how you win any uh, argument, by the way, guys. But I like the end of it. I it think... explains what arc means. Yeah. Yeah. I think your opinion's wrong because of these facts. Morgan Freeman, Morgan Freeman. Morgan Freeman, Morgan Freeman. You raise a valid point. <laughs> Let me just go sit in the okay, water for a bit. Here's and think one about for that. you. Morgan Freeman does all the voiceover and stuff like that. Okay. And Morning Wolf ha has suggested often that if you're having a bad day, and by the way, viewers, feel free to do this because it'll be epic. When you're at like work or just walking down to the bus or driving through traffic, have Christopher Walken narrate what you're doing in your mind. <laughs> Just yes. like in um, Stranger Than Fiction. Exactly. I, I, I liked Stranger Than Fiction, too. Now, I said that to say this. What if Morgan Freeman, the voice in his head, is actually James Earl Jones? <laughs> 